Hey yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy Jay Nutty, aka Son Jovia. And ooh, -wee, I just got done watching this Brooklyn Hands versus Shotgun Shug battle. And I gotta tell y'all, man, I've been waiting on this battle for a minute. Now, for y'all who do not know who Brooklyn Hands is, I suggest you do your research. Because when it comes to Brooklyn Hands, he's like one of the best Brooklyn has to offer when he's on his A-game. When he can spit his shit flawless, the boy got a pen. Not only does he have a pen, but he has some crazy ass punches metaphors he talked different the talk with him is mad different okay y'all just gotta check out this battle so starting out the round one was shotgun suge and out the cut he just starts barking on brooklyn hands now for those of us who do know about brooklyn hands he's known he, he hangs around math hoppa right so he's known as one of those brooklyn bully type cats right he's big as hell he like six foot six he looked crazy than a mug you run across this bad boy in a dark alley in new york you finna like here bro just just take it bro that's all i got just he's like i ain't even trying to rob you dog just take it bro it's all right that's one of the cats that you dealing with all right and shotgun shook just started barking on it he said who you is you ain't no bully you weren't in the whip when they was riding you a mark. You wouldn't punch me. You wouldn't do this. I was like, damn. Like that shotgun shit was barking on the kid. To a point that I was like, damn, is this really true? And was I, did I have it all wrong about Brooklyn Hands? Is he really not that crazy ass gangster that I thought he was? Until he started rapping in his first round. And he's like, listen here, sugar bear. He started barking back. Not only did he bark back, but some of the material he had is just crazy. And what I like about Brooklyn Hands is when you hear him spit, you're definitely going to hear some shit you've never heard anybody say in a battle before. That's why I fuck with him. And that round one was dangerous, bro. He was on one. He had that crazy flow cracking. He had some haymakers popping, metaphors. He was on it, bro. I'm definitely giving him round one, okay? Now, going into round two, Shotgun Shook comes out. And I'm not going to lie, bro. He's starting to get a little light. And he's starting to get choppy. Now, Shotgun Shook, you can't be talking about, I'm um, the reason why Hitman Holler's uh, rapping now. Or I'm um, the reason why Surf battle t-top or i'm the reason this i'm the reason that and then you end up choppy and, and semi choking in your fucking round bro you keep on saying that in your rounds but yeah you can't really get through a round smoothly which which i'm scratching my head about like come on son you gotta get it together it was a decent second round but a little choppy, like I said. Now, here comes Brooklyn Hands. And uh, he starts off with the Fat Albert, you know, the, 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 the soundtrack, the Fat Albert, before that cartoon comes on. People started laughing. That was cool. Then he starts, you know, rapping, getting into his shit. But it definitely was not like the first round. I don't know what happened. So he started off barking and then in a second it's like he calmed down it's like he kind of lost his momentum and low-key lost his energy so it's a debatable second but i am giving the second to shotgun suge and not only that but then brooklyn hands ends up choking bro at the end of his second ends up choking all right so it's like he jerseyed it is what it is so then uh here comes shotgun suge in his third and uh he's trying to get it but it's like it, it, they both started out crazy and then they just like kind of calmed down at the end i thought it was going to be one of them ones it started out like that but it didn't finish like that okay third round from suge here comes brooklyn hands i mean if i got it brooklyn hands okay first round okay. anyway bro fire first round i would have loved to see more first rounds like that from brooklyn hands and we already know what Shotgun Shug could do. I've seen Shotgun Shug on a hundo. I've seen him barking. And it's just like, 
if if that's not enough time for you to get a solid performance out of you, Suge, you got to start waiting or taking more time before battles. Because this whole not able to get your words out in Jersey and every other fucking round ain't going to cut it, bro. You can't be asking for the big dogs and then be choking when you're battling supposedly, quote, unquote, the little dogs. All right? So it is what it is. And Brooklyn Hands, if you can get it together, you as well, bro. Every time I see you, it's like you have a fire round. And then it's like you just, I don't know what happens the other two rounds. You end up choking, slipping. You choke today. It's like I think you choked again in the third. Like, damn, bro. What are we doing? You guys should have had a classic. This was the clash of the bullies. This is some shit I've been waiting to see. Anyway, it's debatable, but I am leaning towards Suge, man. I'm getting, I have Suge getting the second and the third with the best round of the battle being Brooklyn Hands first. Let me know what you guys think about this battle. It's your boy Jay Nutty. Don't forget to subscribe for everything hip hop and battle rap. I'm out. He's booyah. Mm -hmm.